I'm Emily Butchergross, third year athletic training student at the University of South Carolina, and today I'm going to be showing you how to take a patient's blood pressure with the manual cuff. To start, you want them in a seated, relaxed position with their right arm exposed so you can put the cuff on. You want to make sure you're selecting the correct cuff size for the patient's arm because an incorrect size could interfere with your reading. You want to line the artery marker up with the patient's brachial artery and secure the cuff tightly. Next, you're going to put the stethoscope in your ears with your earpieces facing your nose. And using these two fingers, locate the brachial artery in the stethoscope. Next, you're going to inflate the cuff to 180 millimeters of mercury, which will be enough to include blood flow to the brachial artery. The two sounds you're listening for are the systolic and diastolic blood pressures. The systolic blood pressure is the first sound you hear. The diastolic blood pressure will be the last sound you hear as you release air from the cuff. In this case, the patient's blood pressure was 122 over 82. Uh, normal blood pressure is anywhere 120 over 80. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>